Unfortunately, um, I have to report that the climber who fell this morning um, has been pronounced deceased. Um, he was pronounced uh, deceased upon arrival at Legacy Emanuel. Um, we do not know his identification at this point. Um, therefore, we are unable to release a name. Once we are able to positively identify him, we will be able to notify family and kin, and then at that point, we'll be able to release his, his name. I can confirm that it is a male. Um, other than that, I have no details. And he was already, he was dead when he, they landed the chopper at the hospital? When he arrived at the hospital, he was deceased, yes. As far as exactly when he uh, uh, passed away, I, I don't know. And how many do you, people do you believe are still on the, just the four who are stranded or more? We believe there are seven to eight uh, at a minimum right now that are uh, still up on the mountain. Are they all in trouble or just those four? Uh, as far as we know, there are four that are uh, in a group where one of those is injured with non-life-threatening injuries. And that is the group that is stranded on the hog's back between the ascent and descent dangerous areas. And so... Uh, so you believe there's seven, seven to eight at a minimum, and what's the maximum? I don't know. No. So one group of four, and then another group of three to four. Yeah. And there may be others above them. I know we have spotters out trying to spot and see if there's anybody else up, up there. We pulled the uh, climber registration, trying to get numbers. Um, unfortunately, like I said before, not everybody registers when they go climbing. Then that in a situation like this is problematic. How many people did register? I mean, how many people's names are in the book? Did I don't have the number. Um, I saw a stack of papers that was was pretty good, so uh, it was a fair amount of people. So it's really and it's really hard to know how many of those people already came off and went home and like you know just left and yeah. we did. Yeah, it is absolutely. Hey, I screwed up seven times. Okay. Anything else? Sorry for a lot of repetition. No, nope, you're fine. Before you know approximately how far apart the two different groups are. No, I know. I know. Hogs back. I was told is at ten thousand five hundred feet. Um, the group that was uh, on the descent was coming down to it, so I, I don't know at what elevation they are currently at. Um, but I would say the group that is stranded at Hogsback, it's, it's fair to say they're probably at 10,500, give or take a couple hundred. And it's, I mean, what time is it? Four now. I mean, it's going to get dark another hour and a half, two hours, right? It's going to get darker. It's going to get colder. It's going to get windier. And the overall conditions uh, worsen at night. Uh, the good thing is that it, it will freeze, um, which may help the ground become, may help it solidify. Uh, the problem, of course, is that the storm's supposed to be in here at 1 o'clock, and those can create some extremely treacherous conditions up on the mountain.